Hey folks, welcome to the Wealth Transfer with TC. Today I am going over another prophecy dealing with Hank Kuhneman and actually the 2024 elections. And I'm doing all this for a reason, folks, because there are some things that have been inside of me that have been wanting to get out. And, you know, we're supposed to learn and discern. We're supposed to test the spirits. We're supposed to keep watch and trying to figure out how to navigate in the times that we live in, especially dealing with the wealth transfer. And some of these people do uh, speak prophecy concerning the wealth transfer. They do not necessarily talk in detail. Um, but dealing with Hank Kuhneman, as I've already shared with you guys before, that I used to show his prophecies. And I stopped because they were not coming to pass. And one of the major ones was uh, basically dealing with the revaluation of currencies. And he actually had to go and backpedal on that and make some changes to his prophetic word, make excuses or whatever the case. And there were some other prophecies that didn't come to pass. And so I decided, and I shared this with you guys, those were the reasons why I stopped sharing his prophetic videos. Now, I'm not saying he's a false prophet. I'm just saying simply that his prophecies were not coming to pass. And by testing the spirit, I realized that wherever this is coming from, it's not coming from God. So there's this other prophecy that I actually find, you know, pretty disturbing. And this prophecy deals with the 2024 election, right? And this prophecy was made during 2020. And this is why I say, you know, folks, you know, when these people are prophesying, these people have large ministries and I am being skeptical. Yes. It says, do not believe every spirit to test things, right? And that's why when I show you guys different prophecies, whether it comes from a prophet or a dreamer, we're supposed to test all that. That's why going into 2023, things are going to be so different the way that I do things and the way that I look at things because we're going to be testing some of these people. There are people that I've shared that I knew that the prophecy wasn't going to come to pass, right? But it was all about learning and discerning. And if you can't get with that, I'm sorry, but this is part of what I am doing. If you don't like it, go to God and ask God why I'm sharing prophecies that are failing, right? If you can show the good, then you could show the bad too as well. But this is why we just don't blindly accept anybody who's making prophecies, right? And saying that they're from God. I don't do that. I just give you guys predictions based off of the information that I currently have. But going into 2023, I have to do things differently. And whether you're part of that or not, that is completely up to you. And I, you know, to be honest with you, I don't care what people think about what I'm doing here in the last couple of days, I've been sharing different prophecies that are not coming to pass, but this has to be put out there because you are given a choice. You either believe what the Bible says about whether or not, if the Lord is speaking to these people, when it concerns uh, testing the spirits, that's what the Bible says for us to do. It's not about judging. It's about testing spirits. The Bible clearly states that it says we are to test the spirits. Right? Where does it come from? Is it coming from God? Is it coming from Satan? Or is it coming from their own desires right, of what they want? Because I'm going to share something with you folks. Prophets have become very successful in prophesying. There's a lot of prophets who have gained a lot, whether it was the following or whatever the case, dealing with prophecies dealing with the return of DJT. All right. And the ones that were prophesying something different were hated. But now we see the truth. We're going into 2023, over two years since the elections. And none of these people have been right about the return of DJT. Do I believe he's coming back? Yes. Do I know exactly how? No, I don't. The only thing that I go back to always is Kim Clement. And he talked about the two presidents, right? And there's only one way that I can see that happening. Something going on with the court system, right? Where it makes it look like we have two presidents or he's going to be become the Speaker of the House. And that's what Matt Getz talked about a long time ago. So again, I'm not calling these people false. I'm just saying that, you know, when these people prophesy something that you need to watch exactly what they're saying and you need to test the prophecy 
And just because they're on TV and they're shouting Jesus Christ and all this stuff, that doesn't matter. Because even Jesus said that pe- many people will say, Lord, Lord, didn't I, didn't I prophesy in your name? Right? And what did he do? He said, depart from me. Right? He said that there, were, there would be false prophets. I'm not calling anybody a false prophet, but people act like there are no false prophets in prophecy today. There isn't one. Right? You call people who have different teachings, right? at least they're upfront and honest about it, but yet you're not going to know who some of these are because they're wolves in sheep's clothing. So that means they're going to sound exactly like mainstream Christianity and everything that, they, that is being taught and everything else. Anyways, I want to get to this prophecy. This deals with Mike Pence becoming the president in 2024. You need to hear it for yourself because you know what? You know what, folks, for me, I don't listen to Hank Kuhneman anymore. But when I found this, I said, you know what? I got to put this out there so people know that these guys are not always right. And something is off. Something is wrong in the Christian community with these prophets and prophecy Dealing with the return of DJT and, and the elections and so forth, there is something wrong. And he showed me something that was very unique about 2020 and God trying to reposition once again. Again, in 9-11 for the two towers, God wanted to raise up a president that he would raise up out of New York, the place where the towers fell, that would have two terms. But not just one president with two terms, but two presidents for each of the towers. God's hand and plan as I saw in the future, again, remember Jeremiah 18, we have to pray. God is extending a mission of mercy. Don't get mad at the prophet. I'm, I'm just telling you what the Lord showed me that is really important that we pray and we agree with God. I'll tell you why. I had a vision uh, just a few months ago where I saw something coming at a very high accelerated rate, Pastor, and it scared me in the vision. I didn't know what it was, but it came very fast and it slammed down in front of me and I realized it was a foot. And I realized what I was seeing must have been the foot of the Lord. He didn't say, this is my foot, but I, you know, I just felt like it was. And it hit the ground really hard, and I saw that it was over the United States, and it went very aggressively towards the left. And it began to smear its foot on the left side of the United States in this vision. And then it moved its foot over to the right. And then the voice of the Lord spoke, and it said these words to me. He said, they tried to impeach Moses. Mm. I never thought about that in all my understanding. They tried to remove him. They did. They did. Yes, they didn't like him, but yet, you know, they complained about his leadership. Cora. They Cora did it. Two hundred and fifty people that were the house at that time, and and uh, (laughs) yeah, and they didn't like him, and they got the people to complain and become the devil's prophets, and yet God raised up this man because he saw something in Moses that the people weren't seeing. You know what it was? He stood up for God. And he stood up for the nation, the people. And God said, this man is meek. He saw the grace potential. And Moses wasn't perfect. He was a murderer. Are you listening? But yet God had a plan and agenda to rescue a nation. And when his foot came down in that vision, he said these words. He said, who is on the Lord's side? My God. I don't want to not be on the side of God. I want to, or not, not, I want to be on the side of God. Excuse me. I don't not want to be on his, how do you say that, Brennan? I don't want to say that. Am I saying it it correctly? You're saying it right. Okay, I'm saying it right. Thank you. (laughs) So this is very important in this time that we side with God and we side with what he's doing for the sake of this decade that is given to the children. Some of the greatest things. I saw in 2024, I saw what God was declaring a put it back movement. I prophesied that three years ago. Do you know it's been all over the news now? There are put it back movements that are starting all over the land. Yeah, put the prayer Where people back. are saying, put prayer back. Put, put Bible reading back. And God prophesied that years before that this is happening. The very name. Put it back. But then he said this. He said, in the vision that he gave me on February 12th, he said, look, what do you see? I said, Lord, it's 2024. He said, look, what do you see? And I saw the words. Are you ready for the word? He said, it's payback. And then watch this. Wreck come pence. Come on. Say it again. Wreck come pence. Wow. Pay attention. Why do you think God allowed a man to be raised up with the name Trump? 
which the Lord said something, said, I'm standing in the midst of the man, and my spirit is attached to him, and I'm putting Trump, and I'm calling it triumph, with I'm standing in the middle. Okay? Thank you, Lord. Why do you think there's the word pence? Because there's something of God's plan. If we pray and cooperate with yes, God prophetically, you always have to mix the prophetic with, with prayer. prayer. Can I ask you then, are you saying to us if we pray that pence will be president? Yes. I'm saying wreck of Pence. <laughs> and, it's, and the name Pence means more than just it's part of the... I had to ask that, guys. Let's believe God. He will do that again. That the church will turn things around and Pence will become president. In 2024. Somebody say hallelujah. The church needs a born again, Holy Ghost, tongue speaking president in the White House. We all want that. Okay, so this prophecy actually took place in 2020. So this was uh, before the elections that happened in 2020. And so he said there were two presidents because of two towers, right? With two terms. And then here we go again with this whole thing with people having visions. And we talked about Manuel Johnson's Vision. If you have that, uh, if I have not released that video, it's coming probably after this one, where people are having these visions, right, concerning DJT and so forth, and they are not coming to pass. But this one is very interesting. Now, I went to Hank Kuhneman's original website to try to find this video, and it said this video had been removed. So this video I couldn't even find. You might be able to find it on Benny Hens. Uh, site. I know a lot of people have a lot of issues with Benny Hinn, just like I do. Uh, but, you know, Hank is on his show. When he asked them that if we pray, you know, that Pence would be president in 2024. Well, we know what happened with the outcome in 2020. So this does not mesh together. This is not right and doesn't make any sense at all whatsoever to me. This particular uh, prophecy that he's given concerning this so if people i guess i guess apparently enough people were not praying and i don't think that's the case at all whatsoever i think because there's a lot of other things going on and god put this nation in this world in bondage for a short period of time and just like in jeremiah 28 and 29 so you guys tell me what you think about this whole thing with hank kuhnman and mike pence being president in 2024 and, and all this, because to me, something is not right. And, and he said, yes, he shook his head, yes, right? And his wife said, yes. Just something is just off, folks. And I keep, you know, it's one of the reasons why I'm sharing these things, because, you know, going into 2023, it's going to be a whole new different type of attitude, the way I look at prophecies and so forth, what is being shared in the groups and so forth. If you guys want to see these people and prophecies and stuff, then then because for this, I'm not going to be sharing. And I haven't shared Hank for a, a very long time. What he was prophesying back in 2020, he was prophesying all these, just like everybody else about DJT and about the return. And so here we are almost two years later and nothing has taken place. And this is not about faith. This is about the will of God. If the will of God was for DJT to come back later, then no prophet can speed that up, no matter how much they prophesy, no matter how much money you give them or anything else, it's not going to make DJT come back any sooner. So I just wanted to put this out here because people need to know going into 2023, you've been warned that these prophets, they're not perfect. And I'm not saying they're false prophets, but I think that when it comes to uh, all these people who claim to be prophets, I think that you need to do more in testing the spirits before you just blindly say, well, this person is always accurate because they're not. And yes, we are living under grace, but that doesn't mean that the office of a prophet has to be abused in using situations like this to get people to give and give people false hope time after time after time. So anyways, folks, that is all that I have for today. I thank you guys for listening. God bless. TC out.